guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Note 2 and seeing how it holds up in 2018. Now, the Note 2 was actually one of the first phones that had an impact on smartphones and the size of the screens of smartphones. I remember watching a video a few months back, I think it was MKBHD's video, where he was doing an unboxing or a review, but he was going on about the size of this screen, and I was just thinking, Today, that's uh, completely normal. So yeah, back then this screen was quite huge for people They weren't used to big phones, but now we are. So we're gonna be taking a look at this phone specs wise and just how it holds up in 2018. Okay, so here we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. It was released in October 2012, so it's about six years old now. And this thing was really successful. It sold over 5 million units within the first two months of its release. So that's really amazing. Now next up, we can see that in hardware size, this thing isn't that great, but it's pretty great for the year it came out. It does have a headphone jack, it has a removable back so you can remove the battery, and you have access to your SD card slot and your SIM card slot. This phone also has a 5.5 inch display, so yeah, it's pretty big. Now for the S Pen. Now, the S Pen back then, obviously the technology wasn't as advanced for it. S pens now and things like that but I mean it was good for back then when I was using it I did realize that it wasn't too responsive immediately I did have some trouble like selecting a few things just because it's an older technology and everything so we're used to everything being so responsive and fast but yeah sometimes I was struggling to get a response out of the pen but something that I can see is it is pressure sensitive so as you can see I'm gonna draw a stripe and when I go on lighter the line goes thinner so yeah and it also has air view which basically you preview content by just hovering the pen over it as you can see here so yeah that's also a cool feature that this s pen has but yeah for now i mean it's not the greatest technology not everyone will be happy with it but for back then it was pretty cool for me, I guess it was just pretty cool to see how technology has advanced over the past six years from this phone. I mean, back then, this phone was amazing and the quality was great, but looking at phones now, it's just improved so much. So it's really cool just looking back and seeing how this phone works now in comparison to phones that are now new in 2018. So yeah, this was just really an eye-opening experience just to see how far technology has improved. Okay, so now let's take a look at software. So this phone released with Android 4.1, which is Android Jelly Bean, and now it's running Android 4.2.2, which is Android KitKat. So yeah, it doesn't have the latest software updates, but that's mostly something about Android devices is it doesn't always ship or get supported with the latest versions of okay, Android. Okay, so now let's look at speed. So this phone re was released with two gigs of RAM. Now, that doesn't sound too bad. If you look at ages of like the iPhone 6S, which released three years ago with two gigs of RAM, and this one is six years old. But what people don't really get is that Android phones need more RAM than say iPhones, for example, because they are running their software skin on Android, so they need more RAM to run their operating system compared to iPhones, which have their own operating system. I guess that just really shows how much power it takes to run Samsung's skin over Android. But yeah, this phone isn't very slow. I mean, it's not the most responsive phone ever, obviously, just because it is six years old already. But yeah, I mean, it's still holding up pretty well, I think, for its age. It's still working pretty great. So yeah, I'm really impressed with the speed of this Samsung. Okay, so lastly, the rear camera has 8 megapixels, so it's really not that great of quality. You could probably see what's going on there, but yeah, definitely would not recommend that. And then lastly, the front-facing camera has 1.8 megapixels. So yeah, you can get decent selfies. That was my video on the Note 2. This phone is quite cool, still having it. It's cool playing around with it. The S Pen still didn't really do much, but it did a lot. I remember playing on this phone when I was younger. This is my dad's phone, playing games on here, and I thought it was just the best phone ever. So yeah, it was fun just to take a look and see how it held up in 2018. 
So I hope you guys found this video enjoyable and interesting. I sure did. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below letting me know if you've ever even used a Note 2 and what your thoughts are on this phone. If you subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen, click on the playlist to see all my other tech videos, and click on my video to my previously uploaded video. Love you guys so much. Be weird and be proud of it. Bye.